All right, I just want to take a quick little look at Ping iOS. And what this is is basically Ubuntu 11.04. Um, but this one's a little bit different. This is, I believe, the mini version, and it also has the downgraded Compiz. <clears throat> Excuse me. So there is no no Unity. You're not gonna have a Unity on this, and uh, because of the Compiz being downgraded, you're not gonna have all those bugs, right? I made a couple videos about this before in the past, and you know, it, people who 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 are used to Ubuntu and Compiz and the settings and the cube and all that good stuff and whatever eye candy. Once you start using uh, Natty, of course, when you start playing around all the plugins and stuff, it will just you know immediately just uh, die on you. So by downgrading the uh, Compiz, it kind of eliminates the problem. And I've been using this downgraded Compiz on my on my laptop with Natty, and it runs just fine. So that's actually I think that's a good thing with this. You know, it kind of adds the stability to it. You know what I mean? Anyways. Can I give you an idea? Let me just open up a window and you can see they, they have a, the cube enabled by default. So that's pretty cool. And I'm also using the Novu driver. <clears throat> Excuse me. Anyways, um, I think I said this already. It's, it's, it's heavily modified, but there's not really much in it. So let me just uh, open up the uh, Mint menu here. Right. Go to All. Let me, uh, first, let me zoom in. Go to all. There we go. So you can kind of see what programs are in here. There's BeachBit. They got rid of Computer Janitor. There's Conky. Cover Thumbnailer. That's basically for your album covers and your music uh, folder. Conky. I'm sorry. Conky. Docky. Firefox by default. Uh, Gnome. Oh, I'm sorry. Gnome. Or Gnome Music Player and Player. Kazam. I installed that because uh, GTK wasn't working at all. Uh, record my desktop. It was just just totally not working at all. I don't know if it has to do with the Novu driver or something, but it just wouldn't cooperate. Let me see what else is there. Power management, just the per, like just the basic stuff that comes with a distro. You know what I mean? But it does come with with Java. It comes with Sun Java, not the Open JDK, and it also has Flash as well. Oh, and Super. <coughs> excuse me. Uh, Super Tux Cart doesn't come with it. I installed it. Uh, I gotta send another shout out to Elder Snake, I guess. And uh, you know, he made a video about about installing Tux Cart on on Slackware, I believe. And uh, I never played this game, so I figured it'd be a good opportunity for me to play it while using a Novu driver to see actually how it works. You know what I mean? If it works any good. Anyways, comes with Ubuntu Tweak, the Ubuntu Software Center, of course, and. Uh, and that's really it. There's only much in here. There's no uh, office apps. There's no uh, no no jukebox. You know, like a rhythm box or a banshee or anything. You know, it's very stripped down. You know, pretty much you can just build it yourself. You know, you just install it and then just uh, start adding your own applications. As you can see, it has a global menu, right? There, I like this one actually better than the other one, the one that comes with Ubuntu by default. But I think this this uh, this GNOME global menu. I don't I don't think they're in a they're active anymore. I think they're actually uh, dead now. But um, it works really really well. You know, it has you can actually modify it quite a bit. It just doesn't really work with the the KDE apps. You know what I mean? And uh, it looks like it just it's it seems like it's using uh, Natalis Elementary. Let me press F four. F4, nope, doesn't work. Let's see if it does it. View, cutter view, cutter flow. So that's not working right here. I don't know if you see that. So that doesn't work. Um, you know, there's not really much to say about it, really. Let's go to uh, the backgrounds. All right, there's one wallpaper, there's one theme. <laughs> Let's go to customize. There's nothing else in there really. Window border, elementary, icons. There's elementary, elementary dark, gnome, the standard gnome. The pointer, it just has this uh, Mac-like theme, or it, I mean the Mac, uh, uh, what do you call it, mouse pointer. So yeah, I mean it has docky down here and docky on the left. I mean if there's more applications for me to show you, I would show them to you, but uh, 
you know, I can't really right now. But other, even though it's it's lacking in that department, I think it's actually a good thing that they actually downgraded the comp is and people can just, you know, install it and not worry about that, really. But anyways, let me just go ahead and start that tux cart and see actually how well it runs with the uh, Nobu driver. Game Super Tux Cart. Race. Oh, uh, jeez. There's Tux. Oh, yeah, there's Wilbur. Take him. Novice. Yes, this one. All right. Start race. All right, I never played this before, so. Looks kind of glitchy. Yeah, it is kind of glitchy. Of course, if if the Novu driver doesn't work for you on your NVIDIA cards, you can always uh, install the proprietary ones, the non-free or closed source ones. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Come on, go up the hill. What the hell? <laughs> okay. Yeah, oh, shh. <laughs> yeah, not too good. All right, I'm, I'm going to blame the driver on that one. All right, anyways, let me close that off. All right, anyways, let me open up Firefox. Like I said, it has Firefox by default. <clears throat> Excuse me. If it'll open. All right. Oh, geez. Well, that's another thing I noticed. If you double-click the title bar, it minimizes. It doesn't maximize. So let me maximize it. All right. So it has a nice little start page, okay? You know, and uh, let me see about preferences, help, about. There it is. And pretty much it's, it's all up to date. You know, they ran all the, the installer for their update manager. So I don't know. Give it a shot, you know, it looks pretty good. I think it's very, very stable for a new user to, to jump in and try it out, you know. Um, it's not Unity, of course, but it's just something different. And I think it has, like I said, it doesn't have all the applications or anything, but you can always add them, of course. But I think, uh, I think I like it. Anyways, thanks for watching. All right, um, I'm sorry, I, I completely forgot about something, so let me just show you what I mean. Um, with Firefox, they actually added a ton of, uh, you know, extensions or add-ons, you know, dictionaries and, you know, Flash Aid and uh, Search Preview. I never heard of that one. Anyways, and also uh, Speed Dial, which is this right here. You know, it's kind of like Opera or uh, Google Chrome. It's, it's very useful. It helps you, you know, be productive and stuff, so... I don't know. I like it. I like that. I like the fact they actually thought of that. You know what I mean? So uh, let me just minimize this for a second. And uh, also, there's some add-ons to the right-click. So if you right-click and go to scripts, you can see there's cover chooser and other stuff right here. And also uh, create document. There's HTML and Python and stuff like that. And uh, let me go to my music folder. So see how there's like a little thumbnail right here? That's because of the uh, the the cover thumb thumbnailer. It's hard to pronounce that. I'm sorry. Anyways, to choose a different uh, I guess uh, a cover, you go to a cover chooser, and you just select a different I guess JPEG or a ping image. I believe that's how this works. But I don't have any music in or any pictures on this this uh, uh, live USB yet. But um, that's pretty cool how they added that though. Anyways, that's really it. I just I just for completely forgot about that. So anyways uh. Thanks for watching and uh, see you later.